All right, Hocking Hills State Park guided tour part two. I've gotten past the crowds a little bit now. Um, really neat place though. Might be an awesome place for a family vacation. They've got lots of rental cabins here, a restaurant up top, um, a lot of little trails, well established, great for kids. Kind of pan up and show you some of the sandstone cliffs here. I hiked earlier today through an area that's really popular for rappelling, something I used to do quite frequently when I had a rope up in the Red River Gorge. And uh, they have an area that's actually cordoned off with a parking area so people can rappel and use the trails to climb back up. So I'm a little past the established kind of tourist areas. Hope you can see some of that, it's really gorgeous. And moving on down the American Discovery slash Buckeye Trail. They share the same route all the way, basically all the way through Ohio to about 25 miles outside of Parkersburg, West Virginia. And uh, cuts right through Hocking Hills, very neat. Got a little bit wet earlier today, but able to find an overhang and near a bathroom and a uh, hand dryer. <laughs> Got most everything sorted out and dried out. And thanks to my, those are the blue blazes of the Buckeye Trail. That's what I've been following. Thanks to my buddy Drew, he sent me a new pair of shoes, a broken in pair of mine, but uh, which I know is what you really all want to know about. There they are. And I really feel like they may be part of the solution to my heel blister problems. They fit a little more narrow than my other shoes. So we shall see. Just hiked a couple of, couple of miles with them so far, but uh, but I appreciate Drew getting that to me. He sent them to the park headquarters because there's not a lot of little town resupply points on this part of the Buckeye Trail. It's kind of out in the middle of nowhere, goes through some state parks, national forests, but uh, not much more than that. So anyway, this is a really cool trail. I'm thrilled that it doesn't have overgrown sticker bushes and stinging nettle everywhere. This is, uh, would be great to have for a few days, but I know here in just a few miles, I'll leave the park boundaries and be back just in national forest trails. Before I got into the park, it was bushwhacking for part of the time today. And uh, when I leave, it will be the same. So for now, a little blast of, of gorgeous nature. Thanks for tagging along. And Hocking Hills Part 2 is out.